Good afternoon and welcome to my uh, daily broadcast. Uh, this is a Facebook Live, by the way, and it'll be on YouTube later on. I'll give you all that information at the back end, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, we're at episode number 704 today, 704. And the topic today is, are you, are you a perfectionist? Here's one reason why. We'll see if I can stick to one reason, so bear with me as I get into this. Uh, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is why I help women create balance in love, life, and business, and also why I do these talks every day, because it's usually towards women, although these lately are much more about self-support for everybody, so everyone's included. Um, but I started these talks over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, which is what led to this. And now, what a lot of work I'm doing, as you may have noticed if you watch my broadcast the last two or three weeks, I'm really finding myself coming into more of a self-centric and a self-supportive focus. And so that kind of led to me to this topic. So today's episode, as I said, 704. And the topic today is, are you a perfectionist? And here's one reason why. Because I became aware, when well, I become aware, I just realized how clearly, how sometimes we are driven by those things inside of ourselves we're not willing to face, which is the clue, by the way. In the last few weeks, as I mentioned, I've been talking a lot about self-support and self-centric focused things, not selfish, but self-centric focuses for a while, because I created this course, which I'm launching at the end of the week called um, Coming Home to Yourself. It's a lot about self-directed and self-focused practices and skills to make you much more um, happy with who you are and be embodying who you are inside. Now, that does sometimes mean you've got to face some of the demons inside. And I mean that in a very non-religious way, by the way, in case you're a very religious person. I mean this as a, the challenge that we face inside. And for some people, perfection is one of those challenges. Because what I believe for a lot of people perfection is, is a drive to make things so perfect out there because they feel so imperfect in here. Okay, don't want to talk, let me sign off on complete. No, let's, let me break this down a bit more and explain one also how to fix it. In case you happen to be running a trait like this yourself, you don't have to admit to it. But if you're having the sense that maybe you're so perfectionist about other things, it's because you have a fear of the imperfection inside yourself, it may be time to make some changes. And for me, what I've discovered over the years, because I, I had definitely had a perfectionist streak in some of my career, in previous careers, um, and nine times out of 10, I was far from perfect in them, just to be transparent. But I also got clear about how that perfection was a trap because it put me in a place where I've missed out on so much possibility. Because I'm very aware, and I've talked about this before in other places, not necessarily in broadcasts, but in other places, how it's this striving, perf perf striving for perfection that is an impossible dream to have something be so perfect that's beyond human creation. Obviously, obviously you can't get there. But what I do become aware of it is that when you discover that life itself in its imperfection is perfect, yeah, I know this doesn't sound right, but I'll say it again. When you get to understand that the imperfection of life is perfect, then you can be free to enjoy and explore and have an experience of everything in life with a lot more joy and, and, and uh, playfulness and lightheartedness because you're not so like constricted by this need for perfect tries again need for perfection so let me speak about that for a moment perfectionism i'm very aware of it's a very constrictive and confining way of living living life and experiencing the world in fact what we're doing because i've said done it myself in the past when we're attempting to be perfect is be avoidant of the human condition because being human is not a perfect experience it's far from it. it's a very imperfect experience yet it's so perfect in the way it works um I believe, for example, serendipity is a form of perfection. I had something I wanted to sort out for a couple of weeks from now, and people I wanted to have it line up with couldn't make it because they were doing something the previous weekend. It wasn't lining up. And then today I got, got, got given the information that, oh, they had to move everything because something else was misplanned. They're actually on the same weekend I am, which is perfect. So, see, it was perfect. <laughs> and so for me, that was a recognition is that just by having patience, because I wasn't trying to make it happen, I just let it go. And that's actually one of the keys as well, by the way, is letting it go allows for more perfection to show up with grace and ease. And grace and ease, by the way, are two of my best friends. <laughs> they should be yours too, because they can come in very handy. When you understand how grace and ease works, it makes life so much easier 
because there's less stressing, less pushing, less forcing, or less making things happen that aren't always necessarily the best things you want. Grace and ease for me are tools that are untool-like because they're not mechanical things to get things done. They're mindsets and shifts in internal uh, navigation so that you can be receptive to the thing, way things work better than you could even plan. The challenge with perfection for a lot of people, I believe, is that you have an idea of how things should be, which in itself is flawed. So you're trying to create a result, and trying is the word as well, trying to create a result that fits and confines in that perfect space. But when you realize that what's actually available is so much greater than that perfection, it ain't so perfect anymore. So playing in the game of perfectionism is a limited mindset, it's a constricted mindset, it's a avoidant mindset, as I mentioned, and so you spend your time being in a place where you're not getting what you really want. You're not getting connection, you're not getting interaction, you're not having joy and love in your life because you're so focused on the perfection. Now, as I mentioned, for me, I found perfection shows up in accidental moments, which is kind of when I see something go, oh, that was too perfect. In a sense, it's kind of mocking it, but also savoring going, that was cool, that was great. And what I'm realizing more and more, and I think it's true for all of us if we want to play with this, the more I let go and be in the flow of trust and the flow of possibility, then things work out perfectly beyond what I can even plan. And that for me is what real perfection is. So back to what I said at the beginning, how for a lot of people perfection is a, an attachment to things out there being perfect because you're not willing to face the imperfection inside. Part of that shift, as I mentioned, is to really come to terms with it being human to actually be in a place where you can embody and experience life itself in all of its imperfections with the dirt and the grime and the dust of the journey as, as has been written in spiritual texts and really have a place where you can play in life full out if you want to enjoy the journey to explore and experience all the good stuff that's happening and then let that be the perfection that happens when we recognize that who we are with all our imperfections is in fact perfect then life becomes easier because then perfect is very easily attainable it's not a it's not a um, um, struggle it's a gift because perfection really is not something you work for because again it's not possible the way it was taught for me a long time ago in business was about how going for perfection is impossible go for strive for excellence and you may hit perfect by you may hit perfect as a as a um, as a lucky opportunity put it that way so in relationships, same thing applies. In relation, relating to the world, same thing applies. And especially relating to yourself, the same thing applies. Learning how to love and appreciate who you are, learning how to be in a place where you are honoring and appreciating the perfection of your life as it is working out, because you don't know what the future holds yet. Nobody does, at least not that I'm aware of. So having that continual reminder the perfection is available to you when you take one step in front of the other to explore life, to express in life, and to choose life in all of its apparent imperfections gives you the opportunity to be happy with what is. Because the truth also is, in this very moment, in this very space, wherever you are, if you're still able to breathe and function and enjoy life, then everything's perfect. You don't have to deal with what's in the next moment or the next room or the next place you go to because that's not where you are right now. The challenge for most of us with perfection is we're always living in the future or the past. We're living in the place where we want to make it perfect down the road because it's not okay where we think we are now, or we're blaming and judging the past because it wasn't perfect, or again, what happened before was perfect and we're trying to get back there, which you can't do if we're trying to get back to the past. Time travel is not available in this context. We travel through time in a linear fashion based on the way life works. So why not enjoy each moment when you're in each moment? Because that is a way of being perfect. I know I'm playing with this perfect thing a lot in this languaging, but I want to drop some, some bigger truths here, which is basically, well, let me just raise the bar to a higher level for a, for a second. Just go spiritual for a second. For those of you who believe in spiritual understanding, I do personally, is that we are spiritual beings having human experience. And because of that paradigm, the physical experience is a place that we're playing in. So it is absolutely perfect anyway because we are already divine human, we're divine spiritual beings already. So by playing in the human realm, by enjoying being humans and expressing in this world, we get to explore the perfection of the imperfection of life. So we explore the, we explore the imperfection of life, which is perfect. I'll try the other way around. 
this I hope makes sense because if you want to play it that way life gets a whole lot easier and more fun again grace and ease are playing through every action of your life that's kind of where I'm working to working from too you know, I feel very connected and very aligned to a place that is trusting more and more because I have no very clearly that if I try to control something I'm limiting it and what happens is better than I can control and that's where perfection lies this control is, a, is an attachment to perfection of trying to get things to be a certain way and so when you have that control thing going on that's a little hint that maybe you're just a bit attached to results maybe you're a little bit too attached to getting things perfect and it ain't going to work that way or let me be, be proper it isn't going to work that way <laughs> so the reminder is this very simply is learn how to be okay with what is to accept yourself for all that you are because you're more magnificent, more magnificent than you even give yourself credit for so we'll begin with that with breath in the words you'll, you'll find yourself with you to be more you'll find that you are more magnificent than you gave yourself credit for make sure that was clear this time and that when you play in life with grace and ease as two of your favorite tools and, and aspects of life life gets a whole lot easier and more joyful and then you start seeing the perfection that's already there I think I've given you some clues um, this, by the way, is my daily broadcast, and I've been talking for the last few weeks about self-supportive practices. This is one of those, and it is part of my course that I'm offering called Coming Home to Yourself, which I'll put a link in the comments. You can check it out there. It is a, it is a pay what you want. This is the thing about perfection and trust and grace and ease. A friend of mine gave me some good advice, a coach, coach, a coach of mine gave me some good advice to, to make my course an unspecified investment, meaning that the users of the course, people who join the course who want to work with me in this, in this group program, can decide what they want to pay and let me know. That's my grace, uh, grace and ease trust going on right now. And I'm trusting it's going to be perfect. It's out of my hands. It's in your hands. So if you wish to play in this game with me, which is part of the journey of this next, uh, it's going to be a couple of months, three, uh, two or three months, I'm still, play, still putting the finishing touches on it. I'll put, I'll put the link in the comments, check it out. And again, I'll tell you, it's going to my, sorry, I tried to say three things at once. If you go to barryselby.com forward slash coming home, there's a little write-up about the course that I'm playing with still, but it's up there, and a link to set up a call with me so we can discuss what works, and you can tell me how much is going to be investment for you. It is that much in your hands. I don't get to decide. I just recommend, and you decide. This is how much I play with this. And if you want to come play, let's play big. Let's have some fun, and let's expand and explore life from a whole new place of really massive self-support, self-acknowledgement, and self-alignment. So you can already have the life you really deserve. That's what I'm talking about. So um, again, link me in the comments in case you didn't catch it by saying it. Again, it was barryselby.com forward slash coming home. And um, that's about it, I think. If you have any questions or thoughts, please put them in the comments below, either here if you're watching it here or if you're watching it on YouTube, either place. If you want help in this area, please reach out to me over social media or grab a seat in that course that I'm offering. And I really invite you to look at how you can be more free in your life and allow perfection to show up versus trying to make it happen which again is that controlling issue that tends to be lacking in joy celebration and freedom perfection is available when you trust when you open up and when you have grace and ease working for you which i highly recommend that's about it i thank you for watching um again i do this facebook live every day at 5 p.m pacific time on my personal page here which is facebook.com forward slash barry selby the replays go to my business page on facebook which is barry selby author and also onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to that. And the channel, is, sorry, the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. I thank you for watching and being involved in my broadcast. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below. Um, again, I'll put the links to the comments in there so you can check it out for yourself. I encourage you to take charge of your life by letting go of trying to be in control. I'll try that one up size. With that, thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow at the same time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page. And I uh, wish you well. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye.